Hey there folks and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you so much for joining me today. And in this spotlight we are covering the Construction Planner Mod. Uh, this is uh, pretty new, uh, really only a couple days old, uh, but it really caught my attention because it helps remedy something that I personally get very frustrated with uh, and I'm sure that other people do as well. So what this does is this basically requires uh, any ghosts that are uh, placed to require approval before bots will build them. Now, this may sound annoying, this may sound like it's like super tedious and actually makes more problems than it fixes, um, but really it's not the case, it's super easy to use. Um, so as you can see here, all the ghosts here have little check marks on them and these have not been approved. So I have a personal robot couple actually in my armor. I have robots uh, in here and I do have things, uh, the things required to start building this and my row ports are enabled, but my bots aren't building it. And that's because it has not been approved. Uh, now, the, it adds this tool right here, this construction planner, uh, which you can obviously just get from the beginning of the game. It's just the tool here. Uh, and then it works just like any other selection tool where you can select stuff and approve it. Uh, now, before I demonstrate that, I just want to quickly explain uh, really the point of this mod. And this is explained in great detail in the mod portal page for this. The dev did a great job explaining everything. Um, but basically, this just prevents your bots from building things that you don't want them to build uh, or, or don't want them to build yet. And I have this issue a lot where I'll like lay out some blueprints for my furnace, like all my smelter setups to get them spaced out. But maybe I don't want to build all of them. Um, but then every single time I walk by, if I have my row port enabled and I have anything that goes into those, the bots are just going to fly off and go do that. Um, or like an example here would be, let's just hypothetically say that, well, we, let's just say we want to go tap this oil well. We have a bunch of pipes on us, right? Um, and, you know, we have enough to, to, to definitely do the oil well. But let's just say this blueprint's here. Um, it, like normally when we walk by this, the bots would just take all of our pipes and start building this. And then we would have no pipes to go over here. Um, so you could just disable your row port, but turning it on and off is kind of a pain um, and stuff. So this is really nice because you can also just like ghost out your entire factory if you want, because some, some people like doing that. Um, and then you can designate specifically what areas you want built and like just when you want them built. So if we do this, you can see I select it and all of these have now turned green and the bots have been okay to build this. Uh, and you know, solar field, I just did a solar field, like maybe when you built solar fields, you know, you don't want the bots going and randomly placing parts that aren't even powered, which is kind of a waste, um, especially if you're low on power or something. Um, so this is just really nice to be able to like specifically indicate what can be built. Uh, you know, it does require a little more work here and there, but it, since it's a selection tool, it's super easy to just like select two swaths of stuff. Um, and then once you do that, it's good to go. Uh, you also can, uh, kind of deselect it. So if I walk away here, just so it doesn't decide to build that, but if we do this um, and then right click and uh, hold, oh, sorry, <laughs> hold left shift and left click, um, just as you would do with anything else to deselect, um, you can unselect it. So just normal left click is selecting it and then hold left shift and left click again and it deselects it. So you can do that. Um, another exception here, uh, which is really nice is that this uh, whole thing does not apply to ghosts that appear when something is destroyed, which makes sense, right? You don't really want to have to authorize those to be rebuilt. Um, so if a turret dies or something, you know, it's going to place a ghost, so it could be rebuilt. Um, you, you won't have to approve that. It, this just does not affect that. Um, last thing to show you here is in the settings. Um, we have just a per player setting and it says auto approve new ghosts. So basically this is if you just don't really want to do this, like if you just want to turn this off for future stuff, it says when enabled, newly built and newly stamped ghosts will start out as approved instead of unapproved. So, you know, if you've built some stuff um, and you don't want to approve, but then from that point forward, anything you ghost out, you want to be just auto approved, um, you can just check that option super easy. So far, it seems like a really well put together mod. I think it's excellent, um, would help with a lot of the things I struggle with for sure uh, and get frustrated with and hopefully will help some of you. So as always, there's a link in the description to the mod portal page. We can check this out if you'd like. Uh, if you have any questions, thoughts, do leave them below. If you enjoyed and found this helpful, definitely leave a like. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care. 